Hey, Premier Trainers, adults and teens. Um, I've got a lot of questions of why we actually sprawl. So in uh, a video after this one, I'm gonna show you um, a professional MMA gym actually teaching students how to actually take down with a double leg takedown. And that's what we're trying to avoid. If someone with uh, who's bigger and stronger than you or someone who knows how to wrestle gets a hold of you on the ground, you're in big trouble. So we need to know how to sprawl. So we're gonna do an awesome warm up today, but watch this video so you have a good understanding of why we actually have to sprawl. Jack, fuck. Here, I sit in my stance, change my level. Take a step, boom. Right there, one more time. Double jack. Okay, a little faster. Chad's gonna shoot now. All right, watch how he does it. Bam! Watch it in action. That's how you finish it. Okay team, so for our warm up today, we're gonna to focus a lot on the sprawl. Hopefully you watched the video right before this one and you saw how someone attacked your legs, try to take you down. So we're gonna get warmed up and we're gonna think how this person will be attacking our legs and get a little more reality to what we're gonna do. So you're gonna need something that is you know, pretty low to the ground, something that's pretty sturdy. You can take a couple of pillows and stack those up or any kind of pads or any kind of mats you have. So, but you need something to practice with a little bit today. So take a moment, go grab that real quick. Come right back and we'll start working on it. Okay. So, first we'll start with this normal sprawl kind of idea. I'm gonna take my hands, I'll put them right down on top of my target. So, like you've always been doing, hands down, shooting my hips away so that person cannot take me down. And usually in class, to warm up, we've been posturing right back up, ready to go again. So, that's our first roll to get started with today. So, there's 10 of those, ready? And hands down, hips down for one. Right back up, two, back up, three, right back up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, awesome job. Same idea, a little different this time. Hands down. I'm gonna drop my elbows down more this time. So my elbows into my target more, it's blocking more. Then same thing, I can get myself back up again. Right back to my fight stance. So let's try it out 10 times. Hands down, elbows down. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this time, when we sprawl down, hands down, elbows down, our feet will still be behind us. We're going to take one hip and drop it more than the other. So I'm going to go this way this time, which means I'm going to drop this hip a little bit more. And this one comes over here a little bit more. My knee is down, the door is closed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up that door just a little bit, so I have space here, and my leg is going to swing through. So I'm gonna finish my sprawl that way today. So let's go slow. From our stance, we're gonna throw hands down, elbows down, drop this hip, more than the other. This one's gonna be open, slide through, and I'm up, that's one. So, hands, elbows, hip, open the door, move, that's two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Okay. So, the third sprawl so far, your body should be nice and warmed up by now. But remember, the reason why we do the sprawl, I don't know why. Someone's gonna take down your leg, both legs, single leg, double leg, you're in trouble. So, this defense may save you from getting taken down and getting yourself in a worse position. 